Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to go over the new team of the week. I'm sorry it's a day or, or a day late, but let's go over these. We've got the team of the week hero, Melvin Ingram, and we have the 48 hour, which is the um, Matt Ryan. Uh, so we have the player exchange, any gold team of the week player, and a gold badge to get any gold team of the week player. Uh, team of the week upgrade, five game of the week collectibles to get a team of the week player. We had the Titans, Lions, Saints, Giants, Cowboys, Redskins, Falcons, Raiders, and Packers, Vikings as the Team of the Week upgrade game collectibles. Uh, so let's get into the Melvin Ingram, though. First, we've got this Mark Barron, a 79 overall left outside linebacker. He is currently going for 5,000 coins. 4-3 chemistry, 86 speed, 75 strength, 86 acceleration, 78 tackle, 79 play recognition, 83 block shed, 86 pursuit, and 91 hit power. He got the card for... Okay, actually, these don't say. See anything important here? Catching and catching's not very good. Man and zone are pretty good for a linebacker. Stamina, not bad. And the hit power, like we already said. So not a bad card all in all. I might actually pick it up, give it a go, see how he does on my team. Because I actually run a 4-3 chemistry. Next is LeGarrette Blunt. He is going for 6,700 coins. And he has 84 speed, 80 agility, 89 acceleration, 91 carry, 90 ball carrier vision, 73 elusiveness, 94 trucking, and 81 juke move. Any other? I think catching is the only stats we need to look at. 59 catching, not bad. I guess pass block, 62 pass block. Has high jumping after he hurdled Byron Maxwell. Got a good step and spin move. Actually not a bad juke move either. So not a bad card all in all for an 80 overall. Actually a lot of decent cards with decent overalls. And there's like a truck. I don't know. Making a bunch of noise in outside. I don't know where it is. I can't see it. But here we go. We've got Landon Collins. 82 overall strong safety. He's got the battle ready chemistry. Which makes the tackling battle mechanic always the A button. Uh, and he's got 88 speed. 90 acceleration. 78 play recognition. 86 tackle. 71 man. 79 zone. 87 Pursuit and 91 Hit Power. Okay, well, I can't recommend this card with those coverage stats as a strong safety. What is that? 76 Catching. Tackling and Jumping are all right. But I, at Pursuit of 87, I can't get behind that car, this card with those coverage stats. Like, I can't. Those coverage stats are just horrible. Moving on, this is a card that I'm going to pick up depending on price. I know it was 13k last night. He's actually come down to 6.8. So I'm going to actually pick him up right now. Because uh, I run the power run chemistry and I wanted to get the second. And now I can buy out the left guard. Yeah, the left guard. I need the left guard still. But let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. I shouldn't have bought him. I should have looked at his stats first. That's my bad. So we'll have to back all the way out of here, and then we'll have to come back in for Calvin Benjamin. Helped me win some money yesterday on on DraftKings. Or not, two days ago. I had him and Cam. They combined for like 70 points, so that was nice. Uh, but Luan has 87 strength, 84 run block, 85 pass block, 85 impact blocking, uh, 82 awareness, 87 stamina, 77 speed, and 76 agility. So a really nice card. It'll get the boost on my team uh, with the power run, and it'll get the double boost because I'm going to pick up another left guard with power run. So my offensive line should be ready to block for the run. And then let's take a look at this Kelvin Benjamin, and then we'll go take a look at the Melvin Ingram and the Matt Ryan. So Kelvin Benjamin going for 75,000 coins. He's got the Chain Movers Chemistry, he's got 86 Speed, 89 Catching, 66 Elusiveness, 92 Spec Catch, 92 Release, 82 Route Running, 92 Catch and Traffic, and 84 Jumping. And any hidden stats that are good, Carrying at a 78, 
Jumping is only an 84. 77 trucking's pretty good. So he's got decent stiff arm spin move and juke move. I think that is it. Yeah, that's all the stats that are important. So now let's go take a look at the Melvin Ingram and the Matt Ryan. Alright, I was looking at the Elite Color Rush players, figuring out if I wanted to do that set or not, and I came to the conclusion that it's not worth it. Where is their team of the week? Alright, let's start out with Melvin Ingram, right outside linebacker. And he is going for 118k currently, 89 overall, has the uh, pass rusher chemistry, 83 speed, 86 strength, 85 acceleration, 86 tackle, 87 play recognition, 88 block shed, 88 pursuit, and 86 hit power. They have 67 catching, not the greatest. I'm interested to see what his coverage stats are. Decent coverage, uh, below average coverage stats, but I think he could still get it done with 64 man and 69 zone. Not awful but a pretty it's like an average card like it's not gonna it's not like a top tier 89 overall but it's not a crappy one it's like it's mid-tier uh but then we have matt ryan go for 115k he's got the the uh conductor which gives you two additional hot routes uh and matt ryan six uh what was i gonna say <laughs> matt ryan has 75 speed 88 awareness 89 throw power 80 or 92 throw accuracy short then you went throw accuracy mid and 86 throw accuracy deep. 86 play action and 80 throw on the run. Pretty good card. He's got decent carry so he don't fumble the ball as much as some quarterbacks. Uh, and I think that's all the important stats. Yeah, that is all the important stats. And that is the team of the week for this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you're going to be picking up any of these cards. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out.